Bridgette Griffiths here from Team Griffiths and Gun at Your Dress Real Estate and I am back with Guy Gibbons um, from Bennett Carroll Solicitors and our go-to guy when it needs to, we need to get some legal advice so welcome back Guy. Um, guy, we've heard a word bandied around a little bit, I know we've spoken about it during this interview series, um, the word PEXA. Hmm. What is PEXA? Can you let the world know what PEXA is? Sure. PEXA is uh, an electronic property settlement platform. Okay. What that means in plain English is that in the good old days when I were a lad, if you, when your property was settling, uh, the seller's bank brought along the release of mortgage and uh, the buyer brought along a transfer and uh, the buyer's bank brought along a cheque and you'd all go to the one place the, the seller would bring along the title deed and all that would go round and round on a table and people yes. would pick up the bits that they yeah. were entitled to and they go off in different directions and your property settled. Right. And so the buyer's bank would then go and register the transfer and the mortgage and eventually out the other end would come a title in your name as the buyer with the mortgage on it to your bank right. and the money would all go off to where it was supposed to go. PEXA just does that electronically. So it doesn't do anything more magical, that's pretty magical I suppose, but it does all of that uh, electronically and instantly. So it's effectively just uh, an electronic room, all the parties go into, they exchange those documents and the money gets uh, sent where it's supposed to go yeah. and you get an immediate notification that that's been done. So uh, in that respect um, it's uh, more transparent, it's more immediate. Uh, all the information is available to all the parties all the time so you can see what your opponents are doing, where they're up to, where, if there's a problem you can see it immediately. Uh, but it's not really that much different from how we used to do it before electricity. Okay, so really it's there and it gives the solicitors an advantage. It's obviously a more efficient way to affect settlement. You're having to go in and meet in the same room and exchange mm -hmm. bits. Um, but you said it's more transparent in the fact that if you're doing a settlement or preparing for a settlement when you can see a document's missing or delayed, it gives you that heads up that you can get onto that, I'm guessing? Yeah, it does. And uh, what, it, what it enables all of the parties to do is to be able to communicate more quickly about what's yeah. happening. If there's some kind of problem, you can see it immediately. Yeah. Um, it's, um, it's no different from how we did it with paper. It just enables us to do it from our desks uh, quite quickly. Yeah. Uh, money arrives more quickly so as a, as a seller you get paid more quickly, as an agent you get paid more quickly if your deposits coming out of the settlement monies instead of, sorry, if your commissions coming out of the settlement monies instead of out of the deposit. Um, all of that happens much more quickly. Um, there's been a certain amount of pushback in Queensland about PEXA. PEXA's um, been in, in Melbourne, it's actually compulsory in Victoria from um, November last year. Oh wow. But uh, in Queensland it's always been a little bit difficult. We were the first ones in at Bennett Carroll because as trainers for the RIRQ we had to know all about it. So Absolutely. the agents were asking what is all this PEXA business. Yeah. Um, the reason why there's some pushback is because the PEXA platform requires electronic access to the solicitor's trust account. Right. And solicitors went, um, not we don't like about. that. So you have to actually develop internal safeguards sure. for um, how and when funds are released and how things are authorised. Uh, law firms have always had that when it comes to signing cheques to release money from yeah. trust, but now electronically they had to develop a parallel set. Most law firms don't have them. Right. So we did because we were the first ones in. Yeah. But it enables you to do settlements anywhere, anytime. Right. Um, so um, I was on holiday a couple of years ago when we were actually allowed to go on holiday and, um, and did a settlement in the back of a bus on a dirt road in uh, out the back of Nandi in Fiji. Just did it, gone. Done. And um, it's tremendous once you understand how to navigate it and once yeah. you can safely do that because you've got your processes in place. Yeah. Um, it's just, I think Queensland's a little bit lacking in firms that have worked their way through all of that security apparatus because PEXA doesn't provide that to you. Right, so as a, as a law firm you need to ensure that you're right to go with that yeah. and you've and got the, the safeguards. The money that's coming out of your trust account is actually that client's money in that amount for that transaction. Sure. Uh, which just takes a bit of doing. So Guy, is there a fee, if I'm a buyer or seller, is there a fee associated with settling for using PEXA? Yeah, there is, but it's not significant. I okay. think it's, it's, um, it's a single digit dollar number, something okay. like that. It's not, uh, for, the, for the benefit of 
knowing immediately that your settlement's ready yeah. and knowing immediately that it's actually completed, um, it's, it's pretty good value. Okay. Um, I've noticed, I suppose we were pretty much, and I'm surprised to say that Queensland's had it for such a long time, because I think it really did come to the forefront when that horrible COVID work first, you know, mm. when we first were come through COVID, um, where we were worried that settlements would be delayed because mm. those people couldn't meet in the room and exchange checks and so forth. Mm. Um, so then we obviously started speaking to a few more solicitors that were obviously very quickly, might I say, getting on board and, and utilising the PEXA platform for settlements. So I think the difference to us is, I guess, you know, for our clients is simply settlements a lot of the time used to happen in the afternoon. Mm. We always used to say generally between two and four o'clock, sometime in the afternoon settlement normally takes place. I've noticed with PEXA settlements, they can take place pretty much at any time of the day. Yeah. And that's great. Uh, the, the reason for that was that banks needed to calculate the release of mortgage payout figure for the seller who was leaving. Yeah. And they could only do that in the morning on the oh. day of settlement. And because checks needed to be drawn and run around town. Yeah. Um, so is it practically actually physically getting from point A to point B to make it happen? Now that's not necessary. Okay. You know, it just all appears you can do settlements at 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, there are still, uh, we, we've reached a tipping point in Queensland, probably the back half of 2021, where more than half settlements are PEXA, yeah. and that will accelerate now. Yeah. Uh, but there are still um, times when, for example, um, there are additional documents required. Sure. Um, it's been rectified now and you can now do a, a PEXA settlement where the seller has a caveat on the property, for example. If there's okay. some kind of dispute, PEXA can now cater for that. Okay. Um, but there are still a few transactions where there might be documents in the mix that aren't recognised by PEXA. But most of the time um, it can be done electronically and it is more beneficial for all of the parties. Yeah, well obviously if it's a more efficient process and it speeds up and it, it's just an easier process, mm. why not run with it, I say. That's <laughs> yeah, Excellent, thanks so much Guy. And uh, we'll see you again next time, thank you.